Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Let's get to it. I don't know if y'all been keeping up with gunplay and his whole situation with his estranged wife and the baby and putting paws on people and tying the house up and busting the TV out and all of this stuff. Well, he back in jail, y'all. He is in jail again. Okay, now word on the street is he's sitting behind bars after allegedly violating a restraining order. His estranged wife, you know, put up against him. Okay, y'all, um, because he clearly doesn't know how GPS and ankle monitors work. This is what they are saying. Miami-Dade County Jail officials, they're telling, you know, media outlets that gunplay was booked Wednesday at 7 10 p.m. for violating a restraining order put in place to protect his ex so he's still trying to come around her he got a temper y'all he seemed like he got some kind of demon riding him seriously when you get mad and tap your own stuff and you got to go back and back all of it over again you know there's some screws missing right y'all so they're saying that he'll remain locked up until his next court date on november the 7th so he got to sit for a little bit y'all that ain't that long because that's what a week and a half or something like that um, this is, this is sad. But Von Shea's divorce announcement, August 20th, 23. She posted, I just want everyone to know my daughter and I are safe. My daughter's safety is my first priority. Unfortunately, Richard is back using and developed a very bad drinking problem. So he is smoking his kneecaps off and he doing a little too much sippy sippy. And this is what I tell you. This is how you open yourself up to demons. They can get inside of you. And then that's where that rage come from. You start doing stuff and don't remember the next day. This is what he did in that video footage that she showed. When he bust the TV out and all of that stuff. And he woke up the next day. He didn't remember anything that he had done. That's what I was telling y'all. Um, they don't call it spirits for nothing. A lot of um, liquor. I mean, I'm, uh, uh, a lot of stores that sell sippy sippy. Um, they call themselves spirits okay y'all i don't know did you, do y'all be paying attention to that but th it's a reason for that she said i've tried everything in my power to help him and love him this is a demon he has to overcome on his own At, like i told you there this is how demons get into your body okay at this point i really believe it's too late to summarize last night event i asked richard to quiet down as he scared the baby sleeping by yelling playing call of duty he started going off on me for asking him to be quiet i tried to collect a bag um so my daughter and i can go to a room while he sobers up he didn't want us to leave and things went left he was arrested last night this is when she first got him arrested the weapon is in police custody i have a restraining order my daughter is in um my first first custody she said my daughter is in my custody okay and i am filing for a divorce he will never get the chance to disrespect us again thank you all for the well wishes and prayers this is a very traumatizing experience please keep me in your prayers now i don't think this just started I think he's been doing this for a while. I think she didn't get used to it. But I think that due to the fact he's scaring the baby, then maybe this is why she is walking away. I don't know. But some people are blogging saying that she was picking on him, y'all. This is what they're saying, okay? This is what some bloggers are reporting. Like, she is the one that, you know, pushes his button until he snaps. But um, do you really got to push somebody buttons that's sipping too much? Do you really have to push somebody buttons that's smoking their kneecap off? Now, it's a possibility she could have just left him alone. He would have played his video game and gone to sleep. But when it gets to a point that you do the stuff that he did to her and that baby, it's time to go. It's time to move on. So, they're saying sources close to the situation say that um, Gunplay was arrested right outside 
Von Shea's home after the Florida Department of Corrections Community Control, which oversees the monitor's house arrestees, got a ping. The rapper was in the area. We are told Miami-Dade County Sheriff De um, deputies effectively beat gunplay to the house as he was driving there, and he was n never able to actually interact with her and the child. So um, they knew he was on his way, basically, because of his ankle monitor or whatever. Um, he just a little bit off, y'all. They said the latest arrest marks the eighth time that gunplay allegedly violated the restraining order, which prohibits him from coming within 500 feet of, of Von Shea. That's her name, okay? He was previously accused of trying to stop Von Shea from testifying in September, and it seems like their love and hip-hop drummer has spilled heavily into the streets this year. The exes had an explosive argument in August at their home that led to the breakup. So why is he still trying to go over there to visit her, y'all? Ask yourself this question. They didn't told you to stay away and all that stuff. I mean, if you didn't get leeway and you in your own spot, wherever you are, and she's somewhere else, you ain't got to worry about her um, interrupting your Call of Duty game no more. You can sippy sip all you want and all that stuff. So what is it now that he is, you know, still trying to come to her? Okay, sometimes I have to, you know, even though I like certain bloggers, sometimes I have to disagree with them as well. You know, um, what is his name? I'm trying to remember his name. He put up a blog and he talked about, you know, um, Gunplay's um, baby mama, that he, she was the one starting this mess. She was picking with him and this and that. And that. Hassan Campbell, he put up a video he was really, you know, uh, taken up for for um, gunplay. He was taken up for him, y'all. Basically, he sit there and took up for this man, busting windows, out, busting the the, the, the um, TV out, sipping all he want all day long, and all of this stuff. He's doing all of this mess around this baby. Then you got the TV blasting, and um, he don't think that the baby mama should have asked him to turn the TV down, son, y'all. This is what um, he said, you know, and I like Hassan Campbell, believe it or not. I like his, you know, what he be teaching on his page and this and that and, that and this. But sometimes um, he be wrong about some things. I just feel like he wrong about this situation. This guy is on house arrest now. Well, whatever he is on anchor monitor. Okay. And this woman is totally somewhere else. He's somewhere else. And he still can't leave well enough alone. Um, what is Hassan Campbell going to say now? Um, she called him and told him to come to her house. And that's why he came. Is he ever going to hold Gunplay accountable for the stuff that he's doing? Because this makes no sense. So it's okay for you to smoke your kneecaps off. It's okay for you to sip till you can't remember nothing the next day. That's all okay. This is what Hassan Campbell wants this woman to put up with. And in the house with a baby. Not, you know, a five or six, seven year old. A little bitty something, y'all. That you can scare the crap out of this baby. When you are putting paws on each other. Or even just arguing around this baby. This is what he's doing. And he says that the female is in the wrong. That she is the one that was bugging him while he was playing the game. This is the way he was saying. This is how he was sounding on his page over there. And I was like, he got to be kidding. So what is he going to say now? They're going to play his lock back up. Is he going to say she called and tricked him? Told him to come over and let's talk. And then she called the police on him? What is, you know, people going to say now that was defending this? Because they were blaming her. They blamed her. So if you got a newborn baby in a house, a little, you know, not new newborn, but still a baby in a house, and you got the TV blasting with Call of Duty, you are not as a woman to tell this person to turn the music down. And if you do, you're supposed to, you know, put up with whatever that he dishes out. Is this is what he said? Because I don't understand this. How could he say this? And what are you going to say now? That's my question. He got caught red-handed on his way to this woman's house that he claims is trying to get him locked up. Did she make him come over there? 
Is she got a remote control car that she's just pushed him in and made him come to her house so she could get him arrested? Or did he get himself arrested, y'all? Okay, I'm just asking a question. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. He is back in jail again because he will not stay away from this woman and this child that he seems to care really nothing for. Because if you cared about somebody, you wouldn't be trying to put your paws on them. If you cared about that baby, you wouldn't be scaring the mess out of her. You and baby mama will sit down and talk stuff out instead, instead of you, you know, breaking stuff in the house and tying up the place. That is no type of place for a baby to be raised. Period. So ask yourself now, why did he just get caught going over, trying to go over there again, y'all? Okay, is he, because so I'm going to say he was going to make up with her. Trying to take us some money. Is he going to just make keep making excuses for this guy? This guy is a loose cannon that needs to be in rehab. My personal opinion. Okay, y'all. He needs to be in rehab. And calm himself down. Before he be in jail for a very long time. Because he can he can drink too much. He can um sip and smoke too much. And do too much of whatever he's doing his kneecaps off with. And he can get to the point where he can actually hurt her. He could either take her out by because he's stronger than she is. He's a man. She was holding the baby and he was still doing stuff reaching at them. That baby could fall, hit, hit the baby head on something, anything when he's acting a fool, y'all. And this guy right here could be put in jail for the rest of his life. If something mess around and happen, that could be something he not want to be done. But he probably won't remember what he's doing because he'd be wasted out of his mind. So make it make sense as to why people taking up for him. I'm just saying, y'all. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.